during my undergrad I had time to get to know the faculty that are here. And I realized that I really work well with a lot of the faculty that were in the Human Development and Family Studies program here. And I really wanted to explore that and grow through that. So. It exposed me to a lot of different things. Uh, my program has two tracks, one of which is a research-oriented track, which I am on because I'm planning on going into a PhD program sooner in the future. One of the uh, aspects of this program that really brought me in and that I was exposed to, I should say, was the business side that I didn't really think about too much when I was on my research-oriented statistics path and all that. I got exposed to a lot of that material. In fact, I teach the undergraduate statistics course here, uh, BHS 201. That really, having all that thrown at me over and over again through the program, really has opened up a lot of doors for me for possible career opportunities and combining that with the business side of the program where I've, we had a course where we had to learn how to fill out all the tax forms, all the corporation forms, everything and pretty much make up our own business and how we planned on running it. That really exposed me to a lot of stuff that I didn't know about and combining that with the research side, I've just gained so many little things that I can't even explain all of them. One of the most helpful faculty members, and she's even the chair of my thesis, is uh, Ann Edwards. She's also the department head of behavioral sciences right now. She has been one of the biggest helps to me, the biggest helper for me in this whole process. Any questions that I've had, I've been able to get to her, and she's been pretty prompt about getting back to me, even though she just started her position as a department head and has all these other things going on in her life. Uh, she's always been very upfront, prompt, and extremely helpful. Another faculty member that really stands out is Catherine Sweeney, Kate Sweeney. She is so thorough and will do anything if you approach her and are motivated to get through the work. She'll get you on track to do everything, and <laughs> she's like so thorough, it's <laughs> hard to really quantify it. She's just extremely motivated and driven and she'll put that into you so you'll do whatever you need to do it's like a the moment you start working with her it's like you take that from her and it just starts to go on its own uh, another member in particular is uh, professor cherry he's very thoughtful in how he approaches everything every time i've needed a thought that was sometimes it's really hard to take a step back when you're doing something and every time I've gone to him, he's always been extremely helpful in helping me take that step back. Because sometimes you can get locked into how you're thinking. And I don't know why, but no matter what the topic is, if I bounce it off of him, he'll always be able to take a step back and see exactly where I'm coming from and be able to talk to me. We had, to, we had our own grant proposal class, pretty much, where we had to walk through the steps of writing a grant and applying for a grant. And that would be extremely useful and will be extremely useful in the future if I decide that I need to apply for grants to do my research because now I know exactly what I'm doing. I know how to do it. Have I actually done it? No, it's all been classroom work. But now I have a very good guideline and reference material on how to do it. I've been exposed to the process, whereas a lot of people I know, their first time writing a grant is... They just got their job, do it. <laughs> they have nothing to go off of. I at least have quite a bit to go off of now, and my own example to refer back to when I actually do start applying. And combine that with, since I'm on the research side of my program, all the statistics that I've been exposed to, qualitative, quantitative, my own experience, lucky as it was, to teach a statistics course. It's just been kind of driven into me. I feel very well prepared for anything dealing with research-based materials at all, yeah. from start to end. I love teaching. Before, even in my undergrad, I was a tutor for statistics and a couple of math courses, and I realized very quickly that I love teaching. And when I was given the opportunity through an assistantship here at the program 
to actually teach a full-blown class it just solidified that so I know that I want to teach sooner or later in the future uh, my career goal right now is not to immediately go into like a PhD program because I know if I want to teach full-time at a university I'll pretty much have to get a PhD I want to uh, work with electronic gaming and be able to do some research in that field so I am looking for positions that have to do with statistics and research with behavior and electronic gaming so there's a lot of companies that I'm looking at that are on the west coast here in Chicago and on the east coast and I want to do that so that I can bring more to the classroom later on one of the things that I really didn't feel like I had although I I really do feel like I'm a good instructor and I love teaching, I just want more stories to bring to the classroom. Instead of talking about all the things other people have done, I want to talk about things that I've done. So I want to grow a little bit and then come back to teach. I would. I would definitely recommend it to them. I would talk to them about all the faculty members, not just the ones that I'm focusing on here. But I would totally recommend it to people if I knew for a fact that this was a program that would fit for them and they would like it. Especially if uh, a lot of people here are working full time, have families, kids, and they want to go back to school but they don't have time for it. The HCFS program has a very workable schedule so you can kind of fit it into your life if you have a hectic life like that, which a lot of people these days do. So it has a lot going for it and I've been very lucky so far with everything that's been going on.